brilliant place to go out and eat daytime, nighttime. So the Grave Street is absolutely fantastic. There's Chapel Street, it's great for shopping. And even sort of cafes and restaurants along there as well. well. And then of course you got in the city itself, you got Collins Street, it's almost like a little piece of Paris. Little arcades like the Block Arcade is world famous, so it's a beautiful city to, to explore on all things culinary. Chocolatierie is definitely the sort of road that I went down. Chocolate growing up in Switzerland is everywhere. So it's, uh, as a little kid you go and have a look at the, at the stunning windows that they have in, in those beautiful chocolate shops. So you get inspired by all of that. Lint developed conch. It was invented by Rodolphe Lint in 1879. So before conching came along, Chocolate was really sort of a, a quite coarse kind of thing. So you actually had to chew the chocolate. Uh, we sort of talk about the five senses of how you actually can evaluate the chocolate. And really the first thing that you would do is really just look at the chocolate. And what you look for is a really nice and natural sheen. So the natural gloss to the chocolate indicates that the, the structure in the chocolate is exactly where we want it to be. Then touch, quality chocolate needs to melt as soon as it hits your tongue, so below our body temperature. So if you rub quality chocolate, you can see that it actually leaves a mark on your chocolate immediately. So if this feels sandy or gritty, that indicates that the chocolate actually isn't smooth. You can actually tell a lot by just listening to chocolate. Easy, just bring it up to your ear. And once you break it with good quality chocolate, you get that really loud and sharp snapping noise. So a nice clean break indicates that the chocolate is nice and dense and top quality as well. Always give it a bit of a smell just before you put it in your mouth. And then so many times you actually see people that take the chocolate, they chew twice and then swallow the chocolate. Just allow the chocolate to melt. And that's really when you get this beautiful, the whole sort of flavor bouquet of the chocolate as well. Okay, so what we're making today is actually, I call this cake a delicieux, which is basically a delicious cake. So you have a crunchy base, then a beautiful jelly in the middle, and then all topped with luscious, really decadent sort of chocolate custard. So a little bit something for everyone, uh, all our chocolate. <laughs> The first thing that we need to do is uh, to make the base. So the base would be basically crushed cereal, but the most important thing, of course, is uh, the chocolate. So we just need to weigh out 120 grams. And now the great thing with this, the microwave has actually got a melting chocolate setting. So we put 150 grams of chocolate on the chocolate setting and let it start and the chocolate will be gently melted. If you haven't got a chocolate melting setting on your microwave, it's really, really important that you bring the microwave power down to around 50%. Just let it run on like 15, 20 seconds, take the chocolate out, give it a really, really good stir, and just do that interval after interval until all your chocolate is melted. So this microwave does that actually for us. One of the big advantages of actually melting your chocolate in the microwave is that you're far removed from any sort of water because water and melted chocolate doesn't go together at all. Okay, so let's have a look at our chocolate. Ah, look at that. Perfectly melted, beautiful chocolate. If there's a few little lumps in there, there's just a little, a little bit more button in there just to give it another boost. But this is perfect for the chocolate that we have. So now we're gonna mix the almond butter with our melted chocolate. And then we just need to make sure that every little bit of cereal is coated with this beautiful nutty chocolate mixture. So we really mix it well until it's all coated. Then we get our cake ring here. with a little bit of baking paper on the bottom. And all our base goes straight in. Then what we do with this, we put it in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes and then we're ready for the next layer. Now it's time for the jelly. So what we need for that is some really good quality jam. Uh, I've got some strawberry jam here. To actually make this into a jelly, we need some gelatin leaves. Now the key with this is that we soak them in really ice cold water for about 10 minutes. Here is some that I have bloomed already. So you need to squeeze out all the excess water in here. So then I put a little bit of the jam in here as well, rather than just melting the gelatin on its own. Back into the microwave, intensity down to about 80%. Let's go 45 seconds, and then we just need to melt this really, really gently. Strawberries love balsamic vinegar, so a little tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. So stir that through. Here we go. Perfect, see, all the gelatin is melted, mixed together with the jam. Make sure we get everything out. And that'll just sort of help speed up the process of actually setting this jelly. And then we just need a really even layer of this jelly 
on top of our chocolate base. Again, into the fridge just for the, salad, the jelly to actually starting to set so it's ready for our chocolate layer on top. Last but not least, the best bit, the chocolate bit. So here in here, I have some cream and some milk. Just bring that to the boil with a tiny little bit of sea salt. Chocolate actually loves salt. It sort of levels out the bitterness of chocolate as well. So we need to bring this to the boil. In the meantime, I have three whole eggs here. So give these a little bit of a whisk. So here we go, this is boiling. So I'll take this off to heat. If you put all the eggs in into your cream, we'll actually end up with scrambled egg, which is definitely not what we're going for today. So in this goes. Then just a gentle heat. So you can sort of see that it actually starts to thicken quite nicely. So that's what we're going for. So there we are. This is ready to come off. And then the whole custard, we just pour over our chocolate. Now you don't need to whisk this vigorously. Like we really just want a smooth chocolate custard. There we go. It's getting really lush, thick, shiny. Exactly what we're after. So all this rich chocolate custard just goes on top. All right, so now our delicieux has been in the fridge for four hours and we're ready to serve it up. Let's put a little bit more chocolate on. We are a chocolate company after all. Here we go, little lint thins. And there we go, our delicieux of chocolate.